Notice that often in your paintings there is what I call breathing space or free space on the right. Oh, yes. Um, is that something you consciously do or does it just look natural? Uh, well, I guess I can. I, I do it more now. <coughs> this is kind of, I kind of do it in quite a few of my paintings. Now, what started out as more of an accident in one painting I had done a while back now and I don't know I just I really like that well actually I saw another artist that um a wildlife painter Robert Bateman I don't know if a lot of people are familiar with him or what but I really really liked his work but his is really um tight or controlled um are you familiar with that? I just heard the name. Are you? Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> anyway, his his wildlife paintings are phenomenal, but they are they just they look like a photograph. And I saw I read I have a couple of his books, and I read about one painting he had done that he had um, left part of one of the paintings blank, and he said he had done it because enough had been said, and he was done with the painting, and his point had been made. Okay, and I hadn't even really intended it, but I was doing a painting of cattle in a river, and I had started the whole painting on the left in a tree, and um, they were just on the edge of the river bank, and then there was the rest of the river, and I was going to make it foggy, kind of, because I had kind of not wanted to put a lot of work into the, the rest of the painting, and it just kind of happened that it looked kind of cool blank and there was just some raw brush strokes from when I had started the painting and they were just kind of faded cool. away into the right and I just thought, well that's kind of cool. That must be what he had been talking about when he wrote that in his book, that enough had been said, that the point had been made on this side of the painting. There was no sense in, no sense in saying anymore. It's simple. <coughs> Now I'm just doing the tedious part of the world over and I just I blocked them all in and then I'm kind of putting in a little more uh, detail to each one and I'll get tighter and tighter. So when you put the white on, will you use a totally clean brush? No. I let the colors get uh, blend. They just blend together. Since I'm working all wet on wet, instead of letting it dry, I'll probably put it out. And that one, I put it in with a knife even. But I don't mind it when it gets blended together. 